Fox 2 Detroit is now streaming free on Fox Local. Download now on your preferred streaming device for live newscasts and more. All right. Here All right. Bravo, <laughs> bravo, Charlie. Uh, Charlie always clarifies he's not a judge. <laughs> not a judge. But he is a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Yeah, he's definitely yes. a lawyer. And not he's our judge. judge on this table. I'd be a yeah. terrible judge. I have no patience whatsoever. <laughs> no patience whatsoever. Let's get to the bottom line. <laughs> no, I'd be terrible. Yeah, knock off all this jibber jabber. Yeah, let's just get to it. Oh, I'd be a terrible judge. Uh, let's first talk about the weather that you've been dealing with, what you've been covering yeah. this morning. Yeah, I just, just got in and I was in a, caught in a giant hailstorm. It was seen in Livonia and this then morning? in Royal Oak and in Canton. Wow. Yeah, I was all over the place today. And I was it rained on and everything. But the real problem is really in, well, the airport's got the big problem. So yeah, if you go yeah. to the airport, check that out. I know there'll be more at 11 o'clock today. Yes. Uh, but Canton is really bad, too. Mm. Ford Road in particular, then Lily Road and Sheldon Road. In fact, Sheldon Road is a big shopping center there. It is completely flooded. Wow. It's a huge shopping center, oh. but completely flooded. You can't get it in and out over there. Uh, it's going to be a disaster in Canton, but there are other places as well. Mm -hmm. And there might be more rain coming, as yeah. Yeah. Yeah, telling us. So. That too, so. well, oh, boy. Wow. All right. So, Not all good. kinds of ramifications from that power outages, uh, flight cancellations, traffic problems. So we'll talk more about that live at 11. But in the meantime, let's talk about the debate. Who wasn't at the debate last night, Where right? Where was Perry Johnson? Yeah. Perry, Perry Johnson, Johnson was not at the debate. Donald Trump was not on it and Perry Johnson. Well, yeah. So they've got something in common. <laughs> Good or bad. It's really interesting. I didn't really know the criteria for to, to get into the debate stage. It's really pretty simple. You need 1% of national polls. You need three independent national polls, or I think it's two national and one local from the uh, four states, the early voting states. So if you have one percent then you're in. You also have to have 40,000 unique donors and I think they define that as about 200 donors from 20 different states. Okay. Charlie, can we back up for a second? Yeah. And for people who might not know who Perry is, tell, tell us who oh, he is real quick. Oh, Perry Johnson, right there. There's Perry. He ran for Michigan governor last mm -hmm. time around. Didn't make the cut because he didn't have uh, the requisite campaign uh, con uh, signatures. So mm -hmm. he was kicked off the ballot. He's a business person. Mm -hmm. He's a, probably a multimillionaire, and he calls himself kind of, or he's been dubbed the guru, quality guru, uh, nice. having been in, involved in a lot of guru. Different, and he was running guru. for, re still running mm -hmm. for president? He's running for president. He's billionaire. still running for president. I don't know if he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire. Yeah, that's what he, he says. Could, he could he be says he's a billionaire. <laughs> Whether that's factual or not. Yeah. Yeah. He's a billionaire. I went to his house. He could be a billionaire. <laughs> 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 I, didn't, I didn't get into the financials, but why? <laughs> That's very impressive. A nice guy. He's been on the show. He's going to be on tonight, by the way. Oh, good. Uh, so uh, let it rip tonight. So, uh, but anyway, he did I, not make this. When you talk to him tonight, I'm dying to know what makes somebody want to just keep plugging away oh, at this, uh, trying to get this. You know, he says he's traveled role. the world. He's done. Uh, he has taken companies that were failing or whatever, and they want his advice. He's turned them around. He solves problems, and he says okay. he can do it on a national scale. Scale. And that's why he's running for president. Wow! Ran for governor and not president. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Yeah. Though. Didn't meet the criteria for last night, though. Didn't meet the criteria, though. Oh, but that's a dispute, though, because he is disputing with the RNC, the Republican National Committee. They say that the polls he had were not representative of national polling, mm. and so they kicked out his polls. Essentially, he says they did, and that's really the only issue. He met the forty thousand unique donors. He had. A, he tells me he had about fifty thousand. So that and that one is okay. But you need the one percent, and uh, he apparently uh, did not get it because the polls were wrong. So he's he's not really suing the FBI, uh, the Republican National Committee. He is making a, a a complaint with the Federal Elections Commission, and so I don't know what the remedy is going to be if it's a money remedy or whatever. But you can't unring the bell. Right. The debate happened, mm -hmm. and he's out. Interesting. The next debate, you have to have at least three percent of the national poll, a couple of them, mm. and that's really hard to get. You yeah. think he'll run for governor again? Yes, I do. I yeah. do. I do. Well, businessman's ran before. We had a former uh, uh, executive. Rick Snyder. Uh, Rick Snyder, Snyder was yeah. in, in, and yeah. of course, the Dave former Bing. president. Dave of course. ran for mayor. Uh, uh, not out of the Donald question. Trump's a business yeah, person. So a lot of business men. people. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see what happens with this. Well, I don't know where this is going to go. I think, um, you know, he's making a lot of allegations against the RNC and all. But I, I kind of think this may not go anywhere. Mm. Um, I think he really wanted to be on a national stage. And who wouldn't want to be if you really want to be president? you'll have him live on Let It Rip. He'll be here. Yeah, he'll be here nice. tonight. Tonight, nice. let it rip. Very Tell you how that's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> we're not there yet. Oh, okay. We're not there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Okay, we're not doing that. Are you going to debate with him tonight? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I met him the other day. I met him before, but yeah, we'll do a little debate. Throw down a little bit. Yeah, we'll have a little fun with him. All right. Good. We'll take a quick break and come back more with Charlie and the verdict after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, let's talk about this first, and then we'll get to maybe a little Britney Spears talk. The trial for the three men accused in the foil plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer currently underway in northern Michigan. Um, what's go what's the status with that? I feel like we've been talking about this mm. plot and this for trial like and these two years, years. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. accused for so long because it's a, it's elaborate. Yes, yeah, coming up on three years. November 2020. Apparently, 14 people total were uh, arrested by the feds and the state, and they've had we've had three trials. This will be the fourth trial. Uh, but of those 14, nine have been convicted or pled guilty. Two are found not guilty, and these excuse me are the remaining three. Mm. So the no brothers. These are. Uh, these are the big twins, and they're big guys. Mm -hmm. And um, Eric Mauder, uh, he's from, uh, he's from uh, I think he's from Grand Rapids area, but anyway, he, he's a big guy too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's, it's a typical defense. Um, they say they were entrapped by the government mm -hmm. to plan a kidnapping of uh, Governor Whitmer at her vacation spot, yet the prosecutor in this case is saying, no, these people actively participated. What's kind of interesting in this case is that they're going to they're gonna link them to the two ringleaders that were already convicted in federal court. Got him, Adam Fox and Barry Croft. Those, oh. They're serving 16 and 19 years in prison. So there's a lot of uh, you know, overlap. But the entrapment, did it, did I find it interesting. Anybody? The didn't entrapment, work. yeah. The entrapment didn't defense yeah. didn't work. And, and, and to simplify it, it's there was an informant working with these Couple groups, and they were saying that the informant encouraged some of this illegal activity, right? right? Facilitated some of it. Yeah. Facilitated. Yeah. Even drove mm -hmm. one of the cars. Drove one of them to the to the governor's uh, to the governor's mm -hmm. vacation spot while these guys were in the car. But here's the deal on entrapment. It's a very tricky, tricky defense. If you're already pre presupposed to commit the crime, it's not entrapment. In other words, if you're there mm -hmm. saying, yeah, let's get the governor, let's plan it, and then the FBI says, well, here's where she lives, you can drive, you can go here, it's not entrapment. Mm -hmm. You're already there. There. Right. Now it's 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 a, it's disputable. It's arguable. But if you're already there, it's not entrapment. As a lawyer, Charlie, if you if you're one of the lawyers for this guy and you see it didn't work for the other guys and they say yes. entrapment, wouldn't you go another route? Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah. And you had makes five, sense. And <laughs> right. this case, well, in this case, you have five defendants. Two of them have already pled guilty and will testify against these other three. And the other thing too is we've already had a couple of trials where yeah. the same FBI informants, mm -hmm. the same government witnesses, will testify. So now there's seasoned witnesses. Yeah. These guys, if they win this case, I want their lawyers. Yeah. Because I don't think, I just don't think it's going to happen. Right. And there's all kinds of evidence against these people. Um, and I think they're, well, let's see what happens. You know, it's what's, a trial. what's the status now? The opening statements yesterday, so witnesses okay. will start today. What's okay. the definition of insanity again? Doing the same thing. Doing the same thing over and over again. It seems like a losing argument. Well, let yeah. me ask you about Britney Spears. I interviewed yeah. Harvey Levin this morning, TMZ doing oh, well. a investigative mm -hmm. sort of special tonight. Um, He's did, a lawyer. Did, he is yes, a lawyer. Is a lawyer. <laughs> um, and he had some strong words to say about her. But we talked about the conservatorship. Did it, the Free Britney movement, did that help her or hurt her? Um, and what do you, when you see people come off of a conservatorship, yeah. <laughs> I'm in trouble with that word today, yeah. but wh what is the, uh, legally, like, how does that change their lives? Well, it shouldn't have been as difficult as it was in the Britney Spears case. And I don't know if the family was involved, the lawyers were involved, or a combination of both. Of both. If you're a minor, you can't make money, you have to have a conservator. Usually it's your parents. And in this case, I understand it was, that's how Britney Spears started it. However, once she becomes of age, which is 18, if she is with it, of she sound doesn't, mind, yeah. sound mm -hmm. mind, she doesn't need a conservator anymore. Now, if she isn't, or she's had issues, and I understand she has, mm -hmm. I haven't talked to her, but mm -hmm. I understand she has, she has, you may continue the conservatorship, that's fine. But there are rules on the conservator. The conservator can't spend whatever the conservator wants, and there's supposed to be a yearly accounting where every single penny has to be accounted for. But Charlie, isn't there a, a, a drop-down process or an acclimation process where you, it felt like she was released from this conservatorship mm -hmm. and just sent out to offend no, herself. No halfway house. Yeah. You know? like, no yeah. Helping her. Well, right. if she's, yeah, the issue is, right. is, she, is she sane? I mean, is she, is she yeah. able to, uh, to uh, take care of the money? She made a lot of 
of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care. I can't imagine she's she that. She still has lawyers. She still know, has a team. She's got and a she lawyers. Makes the decisions. She I makes guess, the decisions. Right. I guess her I, having the freedom to make decisions means she can go online and post crazy mm -hmm. videos and mm -hmm. she can do whatever she wants. It's I guess part of that's, her image in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a certain, yeah. a certain right. mystique about it. I don't think she needed a conservatorship. I never did. After she turned of age. That's it. But you don't know her mental status. I don't know yeah. the mental status, yeah. but if she has a lawyer, probably, who's a, who she trusts, that might be good enough. I don't know if she's got one of those either. <laughs> she has a lawyer. She has one. Things. The child uh, is she's right. got a lawyer. <laughs> 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 right. The father's not doing it himself. He's got lawiers, too. Yeah. Lawyers always get into it. Everybody's got a lawyer. <laughs> yep. Lucky for you. Fox 2 Detroit is now streaming free on Fox Local. Download now on your preferred streaming device for live newscasts and more.